Hi, welcome to my final Halloween video. How you doing? I wanted to create a dynamic night sky, but I wanted pink for this witch hour. So I go in with a dark purple, I blend that in with a darker blue, up my neck. So I leave the majority of my chest free for that pink. Beneath the dark purple, I go in with lilac and I just paint that on pretty unevenly, which isn't gonna matter because this is our base layer. I then take magenta. With magenta, I fill in the rest of my chest. You can see what I'm doing. And I do this because when I go in to create clouds, I wanted to use pink, which is only a little bit lighter than magenta, but I think it reads really well. And since this is just background painting, I'm just gonna let you watch and slip off into the shadows. Now, the ratio between the lilac, the purple, the blue, and the pink is completely up to you. I wanted lilac over the shoulders, so I went over the magenta. I take my dense fluffy brush, which is my favorite brush to do stuff like this with, and the color pink, and I create some very fluffy clouds. There is no real rule to this, there is no real positioning, wherever you feel like you want clouds, add clouds. But I have left majority of the center free for the moon that I'm going to apply later. further up I go into this body painting, notice I haven't reapplied any of that pink. I just kind of blend whatever is on that brush with the colors that are already applied to my neck. So the clouds look darker, but I haven't actually got any extra product on that brush. Which works out really well, because the brightest clouds are in the brightest part of the sky, and the darkest clouds are in the darker part of the sky. And to make them brighter or more opaque, you just go back on top of them and layer them. After a certain point, I realized I had too much pink, so I went in with a small fluffy brush and lilac and just added more fluff. I do go back and forth now between lilac and pink and purple a little bit later, and I just add fluff, take away fluff, shadow, highlight, and all of that fun stuff. Here I've mixed pink with a little bit of white and I highlight portions of clouds. The moon is going to be in that center point of the chest so the light will be coming from that center point. Any highlight points you have should be aimed from the center down. Which means then if you choose to add any shadows, those shadows are on the opposite side from the outside going in. The back and forth is up to you, the amount of pink to purple ratio is up to you, and the shapes are up to you. It's a cloudy, fluffy, purpley, pinky sky. There's no real rules here. I've taken what's left of my white now and my duo fiber brush and I make star clusters. I've done this once before and it turned out really well so I did it again and it's a lot of fun. It's the funnest part of any look. Alrighty. Let's paint a moon, which is round, the dead center of my chest. I wanted this moon to be sort of eclipsed because I wanted it to look as witchy as possible. And exhale. Yeah, circles are hard. I don't think I breathed for the entire time I'd made the outline of this circle. Notice how I'm going in little by little. I'm mapping it out on my chest, but I'm also trying to figure out where everything should go with my eyes. Thank you. 
And again, I chose not to close the circle, but it's all up to you. I've taken an angled brush now and some more white body paint, and I've tried to create a bit more dimension to that moon to make it look like it is technically a full moon, but it's been eclipsed. By blending that out, I've created a thicker rim to that moon. I thought it looked more interesting. So I go in later with creams as well, just to brighten that up. But this was the shape that I ended up with and I actually really liked it. So here I'm dabbing with my finger the cream paint that I was talking about, brightening it up because cream paints, like we said, they blend beautifully on top of watercolors and I just wanted that extra bit of white. I've taken that pink and white mix that I used before for the highlights of the clouds, I've added a little more white and now I'm going in with a detail brush and I'm highlighting specific points of clouds, the closest ones to the moon, the furthest ones away that might be bigger, that might need a little more accent. All this does is give it detail and details are fun, especially with a look like this where not too much is going on and it's really just clouds and a moon. And I don't do this to every high point of every cloud, I just pick some and I go with it. I also chose not to add low lights and shadows too much in this detailed portion because I didn't want it to be too, too busy, you know? You can add as many details as you wish. Let's do makeup. As you can see here, I'm doing my eyebrows first. I did three glam looks in this filming. I did three, the first two didn't work out. So we're doing our eyebrows first. And as always, everything I use is gonna be listed down below. So apply your foundation however you wish and your concealer. Again, my concealer goes under my eyes, on my forehead, the nose, the top lip, the chin, and a little bit over the eyebrows. I blend everything in with my beauty sponge and whatever's left over, I take underneath that initial cheekbone line. Then I set everything with my translucent setting powder and I start to contour. I did my contour a little differently today because I wanted to take it up to the temples. So I didn't bring it above my cheekbone. I just kind of kept it in that dip. And I think I like it a little better. It made my cheekbones pop a little more. I contoured my nose a little bit. I contoured under my lip a little bit. Today's choice of palette is the Morphe 35XO Natural Flirt. The first color I'm going in with is called Body Language. I take a fluffy eyeshadow brush here and I initially apply it in the crease, but I don't mind where I blend it. So I blend it a little above the crease. I blend it down under the eyelid. I wanted this to cover my whole eye, but the darkest points are in that crease. Then I go in with Met Online and just add more depth to that crease. The third color here is Make It Official. And I take a more dense pencil brush here. I make that a little darker, blend it out. This is gonna be a basic classic eye. Actually, it's gonna be a darker classic eye with a splash of color. So however you do your classic eyes, like this, but fluffier. I don't take any extra product on that fluffy brush, but I do use it to buff out the under eye. And then I take Make It Official again with that pencil brush and just make it more dense. Eyeliner time. I start off making this a very simple wing, but then I realize that I'm going for witchy. So I make the wings deeper and bigger and I start up from the inside of my eye, which I don't actually do normally. For the eyebrow highlight and the nose highlight, I use a mix of single life and across the room. Now for the inner splash of color, we're gonna use Meet the Rents. I apply this with a flat applicator brush, just a small one, and then I blend it out with my fluffy brush because if I applied it with a fluffy brush, it would have added too much product and it would have looked like I had pink eye. <laughs> and just any more product that I wanted to add, I go back in with that small brush and I fluff it out again on top of the eyelid and underneath making sure when I blend it out to maintain that circular shape around my eye. So it looks like a unified look. Then I line both upper and lower water lines. I add my lashes, I add my mascara, off camera because you know how long they take. Whoop, almost forgot about blush. I'm using the NARS Dolce Vita, which is just my regular blush and I apply it just like regular blush. 
And for my lips, I'm using the MAC Lip Liner in Stone, and I'm actually using a lipstick I use every day, which is Blankety by MAC. And that is the final Halloween look for this year. Thank you so much for doing Halloween with me. What does next Halloween have in stock? I have no idea. If you like this video, please leave it a like, and if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. See you next week.